Okay, let's try blue. Okay, this is a very quick video. Uh, potential energy near the Earth's surface, gravitational potential energy. That's what this section is about. So we've seen thus far that for non-dissipative interactions, we have potential energy and we have, sorry, we've got kinetic energy and potential energy. Those are the possible uh, s energies energies that we have in non-dissipative interactions and so we know that this would be constant if we and your delta E which your delta K plus delta U would be zero okay so we saw in the previous video we looked at the potential energy due to a spring okay and we also saw that potential energy is a function of the position it's not a function of the path okay now we want to look at potential energy due to gravity, to G, and it's exactly the same, the same idea. Your change in potential energy due to gravity plus the change in kinetic energy is zero in a closed system. Okay, and, and I, did, uh, I did draw some diagrams and discuss this in the previous one. But say now you're starting, you have a ball at a certain height and it's moving with a velocity then it's got a certain kinetic energy and a large potential energy. And as it's moving down, the kinetic energy is increasing, okay, because it's accelerating. Okay, so the V, the V final is larger than the V initial. So your kinetic energy is increasing, but at the cost of what? At the cost of the potential energy. So the potential energy is paying it's losing, the potential energy is losing energy as, or, or transferring energy to, to, the, to the kinetic energy, okay? And then of course, if you threw it up, it would be, you would, you would see exactly the same thing in reverse. So it's, it's a reversible process. These energy uh, transferals will be exactly the same, okay? So what is the equation for the change, in, uh, the change in potential energy due to gravity? <coughs> it is mg delta x. And we know that if we say a delta, it's equal to the final minus the initial. So delta x or, or delta, uh, delta ug is, is, sorry, is uf, u final minus u initial, which is mg x final minus x initial okay all right so this is for delta u but if we're looking at simply so this that would we would look at that that would be delta u would be which is the the potential energy here minus the potential energy here so what is your what would your delta u be over here from there to there it would be a negative value right because you're decreasing the potential energy. So, and then if it was moving up, your delta U would be a positive value. So, so this is for delta U's, but if we want to just calculate the potential energy at a specific position, then this is what we, what we have. So UG at X, at a specific position, at X final, at X initial. All right. Okay, we'll do, I think we'll do an, an example in the next one.